Good morning, this is Ryan Littlestone from ForexFlow.live. Uh, today we're going to start the week looking at uh, the euro dollar, which is in a bit of a precarious position at the moment. We're going to look at the four hourly chart for this one. And as we've spoken about over, over several videos previously, we're looking at this break of this 120 level, a bit of an area 119.90 to 120. And we got the push over a couple of weeks ago and it ran all the way up uh, to sort of 121.50. Um, then it came back down again. We've had a subsequent test of it. Um, it's bounced yesterday uh, off a test down towards sort of uh, 120.12-ish. But we come back to this level pretty quickly again, and that uh, spells some potential danger for this pair. Now, in the last bounce that we got from this area, it went up to an old level at uh, sort of 120.80. Um, so that was all protecting that high level that we saw up in the 121s. Um, so it's setting a bit of a range here now. But as I say, this morning, we've got a test here of this 120 level. Um, as I'm speaking here now, we, we've had a test right down to, to 120 even. But the bit of a zone here now, and we've got the FIB coming into play here as well. It's a bit of a short-term FIB, um, you know, from this rally that we saw uh, late March, beginning of April. Um, that's at 119.80. So a bit of a 20 pip zone we've got here at the moment. If we break below all three of these levels, 120, 190, this FIB at 80, then we're potentially going to see further losses and we could see something down towards sort of the mid 1900s pretty quickly, perhaps even worse. If we do manage to hold this level, then that could potentially put another solid base in here. And then we do get a move up back towards 121. If we get above that 120.80 zone, then we're going to have a crack at 121 and maybe even the highs again. At the moment, I'm not expecting any, any wild cards here or any wild price moves. What I'm looking for potentially is to see a bit of a range develop if this 120 level holds between here and 121, which will give us an opportunity to, to trade the range between the two, but potentially set up for any breaks of these edges. Um, now, I think the upside towards 121.50s needs to be defined a bit better. If we get a test up towards, say, 121.40 or the 50 again and it holds, then that will confirm this range with, that we might have in play. What we can then do, as I say, is set ourselves up for the potential to break these ranges. So that'll be something like a sell stop uh, below 119.80 and a buy stop above maybe 121.50, 60 area. In the meantime, we can perhaps look to play these ranges in between. So a lot going on at the moment. Um, obviously, we had uh, some US data out yesterday, the ISM. Um, everyone's looking at the US to see how well it's doing, how it's, well it's performing. We saw a bit of an easing there in, in the ISM numbers, um, which perhaps may not be uh, expected by some, but by others it could be because it has been on a strong run recently. Now, what we've seen behind this is that one of the reasons why this, this index is up so high is because of these supply delays that are coming in. You know, firms are struggling to, to fulfill orders because they can't get the component parts or, or, or the raw materials behind them. So that, in effect, is, is not bad news because it means the business is there. They just can't produce it. Um, but what that will do is potentially delay uh, in economic terms the recovery, uh, the bounce of GDP can put a bit of a dampener in because firms can't get their goods out the door. Um, so that can be a, a detrimental effect. But all it will do is just shift that further on the calendar so we then get a catch up once these uh, supply deliveries ease. So that's something to watch out from, from the USD side of things. Um, obviously, keep an eye on US yields there because they're still the main driver of, of the dollar there, which is obviously the other side of this euro dollar pair. So something to watch out for, a bit of range trading perhaps to, to go on, but watch for those breaks, especially this downside area. And then the next uh, pair I'm going to look at is just a, a quick one from a, a technical basis, uh, something I've been trading for the last week or so, and that we've also others been doing in the room here. And that's uh, dollar versus uh, Norwegian krona, the NOC, as, we, as it's called. And we've had a fairly long term low here that's uh, been traded around about the 840 mark. And we saw a break underneath that. And I've been trading the break of this level. Um, Tending to sell on the rallies here and get out down towards 126. I'm, I'm currently short at 835 and 831. Looking to see if we get a move down south to some bigger levels. If we look quickly at the weekly chart, we can see that the levels we're looking at go way, way back to sort of 2018. I'm looking at 811 here for a potential the next point below and then even down to the eight number. So that's one quick one to look at there. And as always, I wish you luck with your week.